Okay, so basically the Skyvia guys are here remote this time. So um, we were in touch with each other regarding specific use cases actually. So you might know that we are also an Atlassian partner and the idea was to connect information from Atlassian systems with the Google Cloud solutions. And based on that use case, we actually came together and we decided that this might be interesting for you as well. So thanks for being here for a demo case. And we are looking forward to your talk then. Okay. Thank you very much. So uh, we are presenting Skyrim. is an ETO and ELT2 for uh, loading data from cloud sources to databases and databases to cloud sources and in any direction supported. So Skyway has been, just, just a quick overview about us. Skyway has been operating for uh, four years already. Um, we are now uh, partnering with uh, uh, major players in the market like Salesforce, HubSpot, Amazon, Microsoft, Atlassian, and Google. So we help thousands of customers from all over the world to automate their data loading processes and uh, data uh, replication. So your case today is going to be the replication. Uh, I'm going to show uh, this case, use case to you later on. Um, now, just I'm going to share uh, my screen and show you uh, our application itself. Okay, so can you guys see my screen now? Okay, perfect. So uh, we have four products in our product line in Skyvia: is data integration for loading data uh, between cloud sources, databases, and uh, file storages. Uh, we have backup solution for backing up data to our uh, Azure instance uh, and data center in uh, California. We have query tool for building um, uh, queries against your cloud source for a database. And Connect product is designed for creating an endpoint uh, using our data protocol for exposing uh, data we are uh, our data protocol uh, in a cloud source or in another database. Um, today, I'm going to focus on the integration part of our um, product. So the integration itself has four kinds of integrations. Uh, the import is for loading data from one direction. Uh, this is a powerful solution since it supports uh, an advanced uh, ETL capabilities, including uh, lookup mapping and uh, expression mapping. We support SSAS expression syntax for that. Um, but this is unidirectional uh, data loading. Uh, for bidirectional data loading, we have synchronization package. With the synchronization package, you can synchronize data between a cloud source and another cloud source or database and any direction. We have also export package for exporting data from a cloud source uh, into a CSV file and uh, Skyway can automatically put these CSV files to any of the supported file storages, such as Dropbox, Box, and Google, and, Drive. And Google Drive, yes, and others. And um, the replication package, I, I think this is the most popular one, uh, since it's the simplest one, I guess. And it satisfies most of the scenarios our customers have. The replication package create an exact copy of uh, your cloud source in a relational database or data warehouse. Uh, so in order to create uh, a replication package, you need to select source first. So these are all the sources we support at the moment. You can see all of them here. So I'm going to show you an example of uh, replicating data from Jira to uh, Google BigQuery. So let's take uh, Jira as a source, and uh, Google BigQuery is a connector. The next step is to create is to connect to your Jira instance and to your B Google BigQuery instance. If you don't, uh, uh, if you didn't create it, any connections to your uh, Jira instance, you need to create one. Just hit New, and here you can fill this uh, list with your credentials, test connection, save, and connect to your uh, Jira instance. I have already created uh, a connection uh, to my Jira instance, so I can just choose it from the list. So the same needs to be done for uh, Google BigQuery instance. <clears throat> uh, 
the next step is to select what uh, table do we need to replicate from your Jira source to uh, Google BigQuery target. The logic of the replication uh, package is that uh, it creates an exact copy of uh, your cloud source in Google BigQuery, keep, even keeping the relations between tables. Uh, for example, we can uh, take the table issues. So we can edit this task. We can go to issues table and select some certain fields that we need to load from your Jira instance to Google BigQuery. We can select all, or we can select specific fields to uh, extract and to load to your uh, Google BigQuery. As an example, we can just select all of them. And here, there is a possibility to, um, to, to create filters for your uh, replication package. For instance, we can add a condition. Um, Just for example, created eight at equals to some specific date, for instance, Thursday. And in such a case, Skyway will take only those records that have been created at this specific date, 13th of uh, December. We can also uh, create other conditions and select any other uh, filtering for this condition. We can even create group conditions for your uh, replication package. So the next step is to uh, set scheduling for automatic execution of your package. So you don't have to go uh, all the time to your uh, to log into your Skype account and run the package manually. You can set scheduling. So it, it can run every day, week, or month, or at some specific, specific time timestamp you specify here, or you can select the option recur every, for instance, every hour or even minute in better pricing plans in professional and enterprise. Here you can select the time zone for your scheduling opportunities. So that was basically all for uh, creating the replication package for your uh, scenario Jira to be Google BigQuery. Uh, just a few words about uh, these drop boxes here. So if you don't have any uh, data, uh, any tables uh, created in, in advance, I mean uh, they, mm, tables that uh, refer to Jira, you need to, uh, you don't need to uh, select drop tables option. You can just create tables and that's all. If you have some tables there, you need first drop tables. So uh, with this option, Sky will, will drop all the tables you have in your Google BigQuery and then create new tables with their connections. The incremental updates make sure that the next run will change only uh, change the records. So it's going to be like delta delta uh, loading. So uh, Skype won't load all the records uh, all over again. I mean, all the records that you have replicated the last time. Only change the records. So we are done with our replication package. We just click save and. Uh, and you can, uh, you can run this package anytime, just hit and run. And in, in such a case, Skyway will uh, replicate the data on demand. So thanks for watching. That was, um, that was the scenario of uh, replicating data from Jira to Google BigQuery. If you are interested to um, watch any other scenario, just let me know. Maybe you have some time to show the input package a little bit. Yes, maybe, maybe you have, guys, some questions. Maybe it's better to uh, answer the questions if there are any. <clears throat> Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> any questions, maybe? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, so I would be interested in your license model. So how do I pay for the service? Is it a one-off or is it pay-per-use or what, what's the licensing model? Good. Yes, I think I, I heard the question. Thank you for a good one. Uh, the licensing model is that we count only the records. So we don't limit 
users, we just count the number of records you change per one month. Yeah. And our pricing plan is quite flexible, so uh, um, it's it, yeah, it's suitable for uh, both you know even startups and up for enterprise companies. Thank you, Dave. Any other questions? Uh, you sure? Okay, that's not the case. So, thank you, guys. And actually, we have a blog post about that on our blog as well, right? In German and in English. So, if anybody wants to follow up, there's additional information in our blog. And you can visit the Skyvia website as well. If you are interested in contact details of these two guys, then just let us know and we'll pass them on so they can get in touch with you. Certainly. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day ahead. Okay.